And he said, Hannah, was your story about Erica? And Hannah said, yes. Hold on, what's Hannah's story, y'all? Hold on. My friends... y'all so it's about time for us to meet up with christopher the baby daddy i said hi guys i'm on my way to the cafe i've been doing some research on how to get someone to confess something and then y'all don't want to open this unreadopedia.org <laughs> okay girl techniques are used y'all read this because i'm not <laughs> not reading it i am not reading it so y'all read it. Oh, let's read this. Get the subject to relax and don't accuse them of anything. They're being treated as, if they're being treated as innocent, they're more likely to divulge truth. Don't ask questions. Imply that you already know and understand. Guilty people want to be understood. Get the subject to think short term. If a subject is guilty and starts thinking about long-term consequences, they're less likely to confess. Okay. Y'all. <laughs> whatever i said let's see if i can put some of that into practice and he said be careful hugo said we should have a safe word if you're in trouble say i could go for some sparkling water and we'll call the cops and i said we'll do oh lord she live y'all hold on hey uh, sorry. <laughs> just, just one moment. Yeah. Sure. Uh, how, um, how, how's things? Things are good. Yeah, how are things with you? Good. Things are good, yeah. Yeah? Cool, but getting to yeah. Did it take you long to get here? How'd you get here today? Oh, just, um, by transit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just And you? I, I go. I go. Okay. You look, you look great. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I work. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna get right into it, Erica. I was uh, just wondering. First of all, thanks. Uh -huh. Thank you for meeting me. Okay. Um, I. When can I see Mickey? Mickey. Right, Mickey. <laughs> Um, you know, like, I just wanted to meet you first and see how it went, right? Just because the last time it wasn't the best, the way we left things. Um, Mickey's good though, yeah, I think, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to make any promises, that's not why I came here, I just, um, I, I want to get to know a little bit more about you, what you've been up to, you know? I mean, I saw you last year, but I, I don't know what you've been doing for, for the past, how, oh my gosh, we're, we're 20, yeah, wow, for that, almost 10 years, I, I don't know what, what you, you've been up to, um, so. Well, first of all, Jay, I wanted to say no, that I'm very, no, don't, please don't call me that. <laughs> I can't call you Jelly. You can, but I would really prefer you not to. Fine. Oh, I just wanted to say I was sorry for what happened on Sports Day last year. Right? It was unfair of me to show up like that. I understand. I'm a little bit better now, so I would like to be able to see my son. So when can I see him? You, uh, I don't want to do any of this small talk, all right? I just, I just want to know when I can see Mickey. Um, you can... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What, so what, what have you been up to for the past 10 years? So what, what, what are you... You're doing, you're doing the same thing as you used to do. What, what you're am doing I the doing? Stuff, you're doing the same stuff. What I'm going to use the washroom and we're going to come back. And we're gonna come back. <laughs> okay. It's always, always deflecting. Always <laughs> asking different questions. <laughs> always deflecting. Okay, you want to the washroom? I have no idea. Okay, let's go back to the group chat, y'all. Wish me luck going live. What do you guys think? Okay, y'all. While, while what's his face is in the bathroom, let me look at some stories. 
Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're all having a beautiful morning so far. I hope that those little ones got up on time and that they're all well-dressed, well-fed, and off to school to enjoy that beautiful day ahead. Now, I wanted to share with you another amazing life hack that I think could help a lot of people. So what do you do if you don't want to use chemicals on your kids' clothing? Easy. Baking soda and salt will get you there for stains. Flagged. Okay, no, no. <laughs> I don't care, girl. I do not care. Girl, we got a killer on the loose. I do not care about laundry. And he said, I can't believe after the field day thing, he still has the nerve just to ask to see Mickey. Hugo said, what happened on field day? I said, it was about a year ago. I said, Christopher got in touch out of nowhere and basically demanded to see Mickey. He was never in Mickey's life though, up to that point. So I was pretty defensive about it. And he said, don't even sugarcoat it, babe. He completely abandoned you after he knocked you up. I said, so he shows up uninvited on Mickey's school field day and tries to take him away. Just tries to walk off with him. And he said, kidnap. I said, so I basically stopped talking to him until pretty recently when he tried to get in touch again. You're going to say, God, that's awful. I'm so sorry. And he said, yeah. I said, hold on. He's coming back. Going live again. Oh, man. I missed it, y'all. Hold on. Let's go live. Get my drink. Sorry, by the way, um, I, I know I'm not good with words, as you know, so I, I don't want to just like push you away like I've done before. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for you. I really am. I, I shouldn't have reacted that way. I just been not sleeping at all. How come? Oh, like with this new client, they're the fucking worst. Okay. They're like... Yeah, I've not put in these kind of hours since I was on the Oh, like what, what are, what are the hours like? Oh my god, like every single night, probably about 14, 15 hour days. Really? Uh -huh. Monday to Friday? Uh -huh. Monday to Even the weekend. Sunday? Wow. Uh -huh. So like, we finish at like 9, it's okay, 9, 10, 8. I'm mean, at like midnight 1, I'm not home until like a couple hours after that. Huh. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. The past week, or mm -hmm. like two weeks, or yeah, a month? Yeah. yeah so, okay. at least the uh, last two weeks. Uh, it's, it's, okay. it's a tech client, right? So. It's, oh, so what do they do? Like, what are what's the tech? I don't know. So I just. It's just this online marketplace. Like killer. Like what? Killer. I don't know what that is. You don't know. It's like an app. Oh, the moms at Mickey's school. They're they're talking about the dark web killer. Uh, okay. Is it? Like what? What it sounds like? I have no idea. I, I thought I'd ask, ask you, but uh, okay. So yeah, so the work is good. No. Okay. All right, girl. Hugo said it didn't even sound like he'd ever heard of Keller, and he said you believed him. Hugo said, I mean, the question was pretty left field, and he sounded gen genuinely surprised. There's no way he would be prepared for that. And he said, unless he was the one who listed her on Killer. Hugo said, true. How well do you know the guy? And he said, not well at all, really. I only met him once. Not a huge fan. Let's see what Erica thinks when they're done. All right. Moby Pack. Someone tried to send me $2,000. Attached message for Mickey's birthday. Love, PB. X, PB. The X, I think, is a kiss. But who is PB? Okay, Christopher said, Hey, Erica, it was good to see you today. I'm glad you and Mickey are doing well, and thanks for making time to talk. I Googled Killer when I got back to the office and found an article about it, and now I'm wondering why you brought it up. It looks like some sort of hitman marketplace. Is something wrong? If there's any problems, I want to hear about it. I want to help. I care about both of you. I know it probably doesn't feel that way to you, but you can talk to me. I know a lot of time has passed, and I'm trying to be better in many, many ways, but at the core, I'm still the same PB you loved as a teenager. Oh, PB. Oh, and he called her Jelly in the in the live stream, so that must be like their little pet names. Okay, so Christopher is the one that sent me the two Gs. Got me some, some racks. 
Let's go back to the group chat. I said, I just left the cafe. And he said, how was the rest of your chat? I said, awkward AF. I had to sit there listening to him tell me about his new girlfriend and his new flat and his new life. I know it's petty, but it's so unfair that he's giving this girl everything that he could that he couldn't give me and Mickey because he was too much of a selfish prick back then. I know it's not her fault, but it still effing hurts. And he said, yeah, that's really not cool. And to talk about all that in front of you, he's got to know how much that would hurt. Hugo said, some guys just don't get it. I said, to be fair to him, he offered to help out with money. He just tried to send me $2,000 via mobile pay. And he said, $2,000, that's a lot. Hugo said, hardly enough for what he's put you through. And I said, I'm not going to accept it. I don't do charity. Girl, if you don't take that money. Girl, we got $87 in our bank account right now. Girl, you need that money. And he said, come on, Erica, it's not a charity. It's just a tiny percentage of the money he's owed you for raising his son over 10 years. Hugo said, I got to agree with Annie there. And it sounds like he knows it. I said, maybe I'll think about it. Right. Why have you not put him on child support, sis? Because this man got a good job, apparently. If he could just throw two bands at you for no reason. I mean, it, it, there's a reason. But just on a whim, he could just throw two bands at you. And he said, what else did you talk about? I said, he asked a lot about Mickey. So I told him how Mickey's getting into soccer, doing well at school. He was really happy to hear about him. So at least there's that. But I got to say, I agree with Hugo. He sounded genuinely confused when I mentioned Keller. He's a good liar, but I don't think he's that good. I was watching his face the whole time and he didn't look away or anything. If he's become that good at lying, I'm properly effed. And he said, just be careful. We don't know anything for sure. I said, getting on the bus now, message later. Hugo said, let us know when you're home safe. I said, we'll do, and I'm home safe. All right, I'm texting Annie on the side, y'all. So we got a group chat with Annie, but I'm also texting her on the side. I said, just got home, still thinking about the stream from the cafe. I hate to admit this, but I don't think Christopher had ever heard of Killer. And if he'd never heard of it, there's no way he would have listed me. He even messaged me asking what the F was going on. Apparently, he went and Googled it and was really confused. And he said, but who else could it be? You said yourself, you don't exactly have a list of enemies. I said, I don't know. I'm freaking out, to be honest. Someone wants me dead, and I have no idea who it is. Girl, what you mean you don't have no enemies? We counted, we counted three, no, four, just on the first episode alone. What are you talking about? Well, I guess we can strike Christopher off the suspects list because he... He claimed he ain't never heard of Keller. So I guess we can cross him off the list. But we still got Hannah. We still got my son. <laughs> my son is still on that suspect's list. And we got that man that I stole something from. Like, I cleaned his house and I stole something from him. Nicholas, I think is that man's name. But we got a whole lot of enemies, girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's go back to my chat with Annie. I said, so Christopher's fiance, Kara, just posted something in her stories. Apparently, she's got big news to share. And Annie put a baby emoji. I said, that'd be my guess. She said, are you okay, babe? I said, I know it's not her fault, but F her. <laughs> he abandons the mother of his first child when she's pregnant with his child. Doesn't give two ish about it until years down the line when he decide he want when he decides he wants children. Meanwhile, he's already got another girl pregnant and is gonna build a whole effing life with her. I'm so angry. I don't even want to be with him or anything, but that was my life. That was the life he owes me and Mickey. And now she's gonna be carrying his child. And that kid is gonna get everything. Yo, we don't know if that's the announcement that that girl was doing. Well, she done went on a whole rant. <laughs> we done went on a whole rant. And we are not even 100% sure that that girl is pregnant. She just said she got big news. And now all of a sudden, I done went on a rant about her being pregnant. I don't even know that. <laughs> and he said, that $2,000 he sent you, I think you should take it. It's the very least he owes you. And F him and her. You're better off without him. I said, I know, I'm just effing upset. She said, rightly so, he's a butthole and you deserve a hundred thousand times better. I said, thanks, Annie. Even though Kara and I were never at war, it feels like she's one. Girl, you gotta let that hurt go. Let's see Kara's story. See what you tripping about, girl.
guys i have keep an eye on my stories guys keep an eye on my stories i have some big news and it's important new post drops soon as many of you know i've always wanted to be a mom and raise a brood of happy healthy children but yesterday i found out the devastating news that this might not be possible see my gorgeous fiance christopher and i have been trying to conceive for over a year with no luck I'm in my 20s. I kept thinking this shouldn't happen to someone like me. It's something that only affects older women, right? Wrong. The hardest thing about it is the guilt. Christopher already has a son. So when we're not, so when we kept not getting pregnant, I thought it was obviously my fault. Ladies, don't make my mistake. Talk to your partners. Ever since we started talking openly, Christopher has been amazing and I can't thank him enough. He really is my rock. He took me to see a specialist and yesterday we went back for the results. There's a good chance I'm infertile. It turns out my infertility is related to tubal factors. Basically, the egg really struggles to get down to the tubes from the ovary. When we found out, I properly broke down, cried all night in Christopher's arms. See how that girl... See what I'm saying? We're going to take some time to ourselves. There's a chance we can still try IVF and Christopher has already offered to pay. It's a horrible, horrible time right now, but I'm also such a lucky girl to have him by my side. I haven't given up on being a mommy yet. Girl, see, now don't you look foolish. Don't you look foolish. That girl is not pregnant and there's a chance she might not ever get pregnant. And I done went on a whole tirade about how she won and she got the life I was supposed to have. Girl, good night. <laughs> okay, y'all, we meeting, um, at some point we gotta meet Hannah, right? I said, so I just saw Kara's big news and he said, what is it? And then, yeah, I'm not, I'm, these are the screenshots. We already read it. And he said, wow, she writes a lot. <laughs> she does write a lot. I said, God, she must be feeling really bad right now. And he said, but I guess it's pretty big. I said, no matter how hard it is, I wouldn't change being a mom for the world. I feel kind of bad for hating on her so much. Right. You should feel bad, girl. He told me they were trying to have a baby, but I had no idea. She said, before you start feeling too bad for her, you realize this could give her motive, right? Or Christopher. I said, motive for what? And he said, think about it. She just found out she can't have children and you and her fiance literally have a child. I said, what are you suggesting? She said, I don't know. I just think that if I just found out that I couldn't have kids and my husband-to-be already has a kid, but that kid's mom won't let him see him. Put it this way. If you weren't around, who would get custody of Mickey? What if Christopher listed you on killer to get you out of the way? He was prepared to try and take Mickey from you a year ago, and we know he has the money. And I said, Carol posted in her stories on the night I was attacked and said, date night with this one. Okay, but that don't mean nothing. He he could have hired someone. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here jumping in for Annie. Annie said, well, that just means neither of them showed up at your house. One or both of them could still have listed you on killer. What time was the job listed? I said around 830. And she said, we need to figure out what they were doing at that time. Is there anything on Kara's stories then? I said no, which is weird because she posts a lot normally. I could message Kara, tell her I'm really sorry about her news, see if I can draw her out. She clearly likes to talk about her life. And he said it's worth a shot, but be careful. One of them could be the one who wants you dead. All right, y'all. Me and Andy talk a lot. <laughs> I get it. She She's my best friend, maybe, but we talk a lot. I said, well, that was an effing train wreck. Kara definitely hates my guts, but it sounds like she and Christopher were both at the doctor's yesterday when the job was listed. And it's hard to imagine that they would have been trying to list me on killer from the doctor's office. I need to start getting ready to meet Hannah, but I'll pick this up later. And he said, where are you meeting? I said, Sticks Bar. She said, fancy AF. I said, yep. <laughs> and he said, make her pay and keep me posted. You're not safe until we figure this out. And I said, we'll do. Girl, you need to go live. Oh, here go Kara's messages, y'all. I didn't see. I didn't see it. I said, hey, I saw your story. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. I can't imagine much what you must be going through. Kara said, oh, now you want to gloat. <laughs> what? Right. I said, what? No, I feel for you. That's all. I wouldn't trade Mickey for anything in the world. So I was just imagining how hard it must be. 
Kara said, oh, now you feel for me. Do you think you have any idea how hard this is? You think you know what it's like to wake up to go to the doctor first thing in the morning to find out you're the reason you'll never be able to have a kid with the love of your life. And by 9 a.m., you know it's you. You're the reason. And somehow you've got to carry on going on about your day with a broken heart. And he's got to go to work knowing the only child he'll probably ever have is with a woman he doesn't even care about. Girl, you better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth. I said, I'm sorry. I really am. Did Christopher go with you to the doctors? Kara said, of course he did. He's an amazing partner. And up until yesterday, I thought I was too. All I've ever wanted to be is a mother. And you literally have a child with my fiance. And you've never even let Mickey come to visit us. This has been my dream since I was a little girl, Erica. And you have it and you don't even appreciate it. You don't deserve it at all. So you and your false sympathy can F right off. Girl, you better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth when you're talking to me. I know that. I know that. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Okay, I'm texting Christopher. <laughs> Christopher said, why the F are you messing with my fiance? I just got home from work early and she was in floods of tears. After all we've been through, this is the last thing she needs right now. I said, I know, I saw her story. Y'all, low key, all I said to her was, I'm sorry that that happened to you. She the one went on that rant about how Mickey don't come to stay with them and all that. Girl, that's your business. That's your fault that you crying. Don't get mad at me. Don't bring that over here. I said, I know, I saw her story. Christopher said, then you knew what she was going through, what we're both going through. And you thought you would be the person she'd want to talk to about it. God, I know you have this whole vendetta thing against me, but would you pull your head out of your ass and look at my family for one minute? Did it ever occur to you how guilty I felt for letting you and Mickey down? That sounds like a personal problem, bro. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and read. And that I might be genuinely trying to fix things. That every day of my life, I'm trying to make up for how messy I was to you. And that since you won't let me, I have to try in my new life. In your new life. Because Kara loves me enough to give me a chance. I would have thought you'd have the sense to realize you're the last person she'd want to hear from right now. I said, I'm, I'm sorry, really. I'm trying to figure out who put me on this website. I'm trying to do some investigating, bro. I said, I'm sorry, really, for both of you. I know you must be hurting really hard right now. Mickey was the best thing that ever happened to me. Christopher said, me too, Erica, even if I was too stupid to re recognize it at the time. I mean, it's his birthday tomorrow, his 12th birthday, and I haven't even been there for a single one. Again, that's your fault. That's your problem. I said, maybe we can do something about that. I have to go right now, but I'll message you tomorrow. He said, about effing time. And I said, and listen, tell Kara I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset her. I hope you'll, and he said, I hope you'll be able to tell her yourself one day. Speak tomorrow. I don't like none of these people. They rude. They rude. Christopher and his boo. I don't like neither y'all. Okay. Hannah said, are you on your way? I said, yeah, I'm on the bus. She said, are you alone? I said, yes. She said, good. I said, Hannah, what the F is going on? She said, not over text. I'll be at a table at the back of the bar. Remember, I'm meeting Hannah to talk to her because um, I'm about to call the cops on her son. And she don't want me to call the cops on her son. So she invited me for drinks. I don't know what she got to talk about. And then she asking, am I alone and stuff? Girl, what is you planning? What is you planning? All right, y'all. This is the group chat. Here go say, how's it going? What are you up to? I said, I'm just on my way to meet Hannah for a drink, but she's being weird. And then she put the screenshots in here. And Hugo said, where are you meeting her? Do you want me to come over? I said, sticks bar, but don't come over. I have to talk about something with her in private. Thanks, though. And he said, what's going on, Erica? Has something happened? I said, no, it's just all this weird issues getting to me. But at least we're meeting somewhere public. I said, I'm just getting to the bar. Okay. And he said, check it out. Oh, okay. Girl. <laughs> Is this a boomerang tip? Okay. And he said, wow, that is swish. 
Hugo said, geez, yeah. And he said, do you see Hannah? I said, not yet. Oh, wait, hang on. I think I see her. I'll update you after we chat. And he said, check in whenever you can. Erica, how's it going? Are you there? <laughs> Hugo said, do you know what they're meeting about? And he said, no idea. They're not exactly the best of friends. Hugo said, what do you mean? And he said, the three of us used to be pretty close, but Hannah's always been kind of aloof. And Hugo said, yeah, Erica said something to that effect. Is she safe? And he said, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, we thought the person who listed her on Killer was Christopher, but the only other person Erica said it could be was Hannah. She doesn't know anyone else with that kind of money, but it's Hannah. <laughs> I can't think of any reason Hannah would want her dead. Hugo said, how much was the job listed for? And he said, $5,000. <laughs> Hugo said, shoot, maybe we should go there and keep an eye on her. And he said, I can't. I got Tyrell with me. Tyrell. She got Tyrell with her. And I don't know. Hannah's rich, but she's not evil. Do, are we sure about that? Okay. And he said, Hannah, was your story about Erica? And Hannah said, yes. Hold on. What's Hannah's story, y'all? Hold on. My friends, what, what, <laughs> y'all, how did we get here? My friends just been stabbed at Sticks Bar by someone pretending to be a waiter. Stay safe and be vigilant and don't go to Sticks Bar. What? <laughs> Like, this story was not full. Like, we were getting away from the foolishness. We started this story with foolishness, and then it got kind of level for a second. But here we go back with the... Here we go back with the shenanigans unread. Here we go again. My lord, don't go to Sticks Bar. Be vigilant and don't go to Sticks Bar. Somebody pretended to be a waiter. You never know what's going to happen. Horrible things happen when you least expect it. So be on your guard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, here go Kira, y'all. Hi, yeah, everybody. Sorry. I just wanted to do a quick shout out to everybody who was so supportive earlier. Um, if you saw my post from earlier, I've been getting so much support and love and honestly i am the most grateful and blessed girl for having the greatest support system in the world um and just like on that a few words to some people who maybe are less supportive um if you say you understand but you really don't like maybe that's just doing more harm than good at this point um i'm totally cool with everybody else having children that's beautiful that's great but just maybe at this point it. don't rub it in my face um but to everybody else it's been just so so wonderful uh and especially to christopher wow what an amazing man i am so lucky to have him and uh it, this is truly shown how completely and truly he loves me so very lucky all right i'll talk to you guys soon bye girl i don't care about you I don't care about you. I've been stabbed. I've been stabbed. All right. Here go the mama group chat, y'all. Andy said, what the F happened? And Hannah said, we were just having a drink. It was awful. Andy said, is Erica okay? Hannah said, I called an ambulance. Andy said, where are they taking her? She said, Midtown Urgent Treatment Center. Where are you? Hannah said, I'm in a cab on my way home. What? <laughs> Andy said, why didn't you go with her? Hannah said, I just watched my friend get stabbed. I was terrified and didn't know what to do. I just wanted to get home. Oh my God. Eddie said, F sake, Hannah. Nora said, hey, she's been through a lot this evening. Cool it. She been through a lot? I just... There is a knife in me. She been through a lot, but I'm the one got stabbed. Okay. All right. You see how... you. You see how you can't, you just can't be in group chats. You can't be friends with everybody. You see how, li listen to this. Let somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. She been through a lot. Girl, good night. All oh, y'all, good night. Andy said, F off, Nora. This is about Erica. 
Well, she's still breathing, Hannah. And Hannah ain't responded. Y'all, I, <laughs> I will throw this phone. I will throw this phone. I'm over it. I got beef with everybody now. A waiter pretended, somebody pretended to be a waiter and stabbed me while I was just getting my little drinky drink on at the bar. Somebody, all I wanted was my glass of Riesling and I just wanted to sip and somebody then ran up on me. They ran up on me at the crib. Now they didn't ran up on me at the restaurant while I'm trying to get my little sippy sip on. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. <laughs> now I'm and and now I'm at the hospital, and my friend that was with me is about to go home and go to bed. Like everything is okay. Like for real, girl. Like for real, Hannah. You're not even gonna try. You ain't even gonna call to see if I'm okay. Like what's going on here? What's going on? Oh my God, I'm about to throw this phone. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of everybody. I'm sick of everybody. <laughs>